Well, I, I think if he realizes that all he has to do is get the ball in the hands of those playmakers, he'll be fine. And some days he does that, and other days he doesn't. It, it was kind of funny because the second, I don't know if it was you, John, who I was standing next to, the second I said, uh, there's no denying that uh, Jalen Hurts has had a great camp, he, he threw the worst pass I've ever seen. You know, it's like, maybe it was Martin Frank, yeah. But I, I mean, that, that's what you get. I mean, that's who he is. You got your Mega Mac guys here on Birds 365, and we are joined by this happy gentleman next. Um, don't know if he's in the car heading to Berea, Ohio, but we'll find out where he is going. Yeah. And his uh, Eagle Insights War is always good when we get on from the Delco Times, Bob Groats. Where are you off to, Mr. Groats? I'm I'm trying to elude the the police right now. So <laughs> maybe, maybe we can get right into this. That's yeah. why that the hammer, Bob Gross. Yeah. Look at that yeah. nickname there. There's what only are, two are... or three cars right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, are we getting breakfast or are we out to Berea, Ohio? No, I just got myself a cup of coffee. I had something to do from seven to eight, believe it or not. And um, wow, I, I'm just feeling old. Feeling real join, join, old, join the club, big man. I don't know how yeah. you guys do it, man. Five yeah, thirty every morning. Whoa, it's tough. It's tough. It's yeah. tough to. It's a grind, Bob. But you know, you're the hammer. You know, yeah. Delaware's own, Delaware County's. Own. I am the hammer. I am yes. the hammer. You tell <laughs> All right, who are you bringing that. the hammer down on today? Nick Sirianni's out on Boray, Ohio, with his eighty-five mates to do a joint practice. With the Browns, will the Eagles bring the hammer today against the Browns because they haven't had a chance to really hit anybody? Oh, they hit the Jets a little bit. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be a fight or two, Jody. I really, I think there'll be a fight or two. Yeah, I think they'll be aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be Andre talking. Dillard. Is it going to be the uh, from the Fighting City of Philadelphia? I, six I foot six, three hundred twenty pound Andre Dillard. Yeah, I hope it's not Dillard. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not him because then you're talking uh, an L right there. So um, you mean Jordan Davis? Uh, yeah, Jordan. Well, Jordan Mylotta, Jordan Davis. Those, yeah. those well, are the first guys off the bus in Berea. There's, yeah, there's going to be some tussles. There'll, there'll be some tussles. And I heard you guys asking each other if this is a likable team. This is a lovable team. Ooh. How, how could you not love this team? Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought you go. You, you're. you're I mean, look you at subscribe. how positive. You subscribe to the nasty theory. You need some nasty oh, yeah, players yeah, to win. Yeah. In this league. Oh yeah. Nasty yeah. players. Nasty. Look at the look at the Saints. That that team had no business winning the Super Bowl. But look what they had to do to get there. Bounty Gate and all that stuff. Oh yeah. I Trying mean, to take really out Brett Favre. How old was Brett Favre? By the way, that's one of the underreported stories. Yeah. They in they NFL got history. down and dirty. Oh my. They they just. They attacked. They should have been arrested for what they did to Brett Favre in that game. What was yeah. it? And, and shame on me. I forget the defensive coordinator's name. It was the oh, Greg, uh, Greg, uh, Greg, Greg Williams. 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 Is he yeah. in the NFL this year? I don't, I don't believe so. He could be a either. consultant. He could be a consultant somewhere. Yeah. But, okay. uh, yeah. But uh, hey, Greg, Greg took a big hit for that, but he was back. He was back in the league. And, he was. And, but I think he's boy. out this year. Yeah. I think. Uh, you know, but Greg's, I don't know, 65, 60, you know, I think part of it is age. Uh, yeah, he's out of the league, though, just looking it up. Um, you can't have choir boys, Jonathan Gannon. Yeah, you can't have choir boys, especially playing defense. So Absolutely. I don't know if likable, lovable, as Bob Groats would say, the lovable Bob Groats. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, it's a, a well, how, how could you not love this team, though? I mean, uh, you got the quarterback up there that um, you know he's he, he he takes responsibility for everything. He doesn't say a whole lot, but um, he no. takes responsibility for everything. He's built these bonds with uh, already with AJ Brown. You know everybody did the offensive lineman. You saw Jordan Mulata run over there, uh, yeah. first guy over there. I mean he, he this team wants to win for him, so uh, you can't understate that. But um, you know, well, there's they got some holes, but um, I think they're I think they'll be able to throw the ball this year, which is going to be, you know, a two dimensional team is always more difficult to to beat than a team that just runs the ball. All right, uh, putting likability aside, 
how do you like what you've seen with Jalen Hurts with the football in his hands? Practice. We know how well he did the one series against the Jets. Uh, on the football side of it, the more important side of it, uh, where do you think this quarterback is at right now? Well, I, I think if he realizes that all he has to do is get the ball in the hands of those playmakers, he'll be fine. And some days he does that, and other days he doesn't. It, it was kind of funny because the second – I don't know if it was you, John, who I was standing next to. The second I said, uh, there's no denying that uh, Jalen Hurts has had a great camp, he, he threw the worst pass I've ever seen. You know, it's like – maybe it was Martin Frank, yeah. But, I, I mean, that, that's what you get. I mean, that's who he is. Yeah, He's just got to get the bit, ball. Still a little bit too inconsistent. Yeah, you know, I'm interested. You say, you say he's had a good camp. Now, Jimmy Kemsky, uh put out today on Twitter, our buddy. Uh, so there's 13 days uh, counting the preseason games. So 12 practices, uh, one preseason game, which obviously Jalen was very good in the preseason game. Um, he had him up seven times, sort of nondescript three times, and down three times. Whoa, sorry about that, guys. Uh, we, yeah. we, we're getting Bob back. And down three times? Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 a, I'm a tougher grader than that, man. I, I, I had – I was trying to go through my notes before the show. Now, I don't think – I agree with the three bad practices, but to me the good ones – are more nondescript ones. So I think there, there's, there were probably three, three, and then seven nondescript ones. Um, I, I mean, he had about three good practices, three bad ones, and then everything else was kind of in between. Am I he, too he's, tough? He's done more good than he's done uh, All right. wrong. See, I'm bad. too tough. Yeah. I'm and he, too tough, Jerry. He has. And, and, you know, and training camp too. I mean, let's be honest about these practices. They do try stuff that you you don't well, you know, yeah. take chances That's that you don't take the in the regular season, right? Exactly. But so I, I'm not sure that that is part of the context for for some of these graders, you know, especially when they go counting the completions and and uh, the but, interceptions. Uh, that, and that. Well, there are two ways to take that, Bob. Like practice one was all red zone. So they had a bunch of touchdowns and everybody was like, what a great practice. And then practice 12, they did a lot of red zone and they had a lot of touchdowns and everybody was like, oh, what a great practice. But that's where the context helps you because you're always in the red zone. So you're going to have more touchdowns and it correlates in people's mind to, oh, we saw a bunch of touchdowns. So I think it works kind of both ways. I just kind of look at the way, uh, you know, what, what's his responsibility out there? And um, he's got to try some things. He's also got to get that ball to, to his receivers. And, and if he does those, uh, if he does those two things, he's had a good camp. And I think he has, I, you know, I, I can't. Um, Boy, I'm, you, I'm, I'm less optimistic than Bob Groats. How about yeah, that? that? That's I, a bad sign. John, you better look in the mirror, big yeah, guy. That, that's yeah. a bad yeah. case. Sign. You gotta That's a check bad yourself, sign, buddy. Man. Look, yeah. look at the look at the playmakers too. I, oh, the playmakers are great. Play yeah, I mean, are... even even Zach Pascal, who's going to be covering him? Yeah, he's been in he's the been NFC's really games. good. You put a bad quarterback back. on him, and he's going to light him up. I mean, I just and, wrote and about the guy him gets, on Jacob Sports. He's been really, really good, legitimately gets, good. He does. He, the guy gets so open. I mean, I, I, maybe it's the maybe it's the cornerbacks. Yeah. But that's, I think that's going to happen during the year. There's going to be guys that – Well, he's never going to see a double team, ever, ever. So yeah, that helps That him. could be, yeah. Yeah. I, I, so that that's reason to be optimistic. And and they still haven't really even gotten into the, the running back thing in the games, like um, a guy like Gainwell or, or Miles Sanders. You, you're going to see that too. I mean, run it till they stop it. Remember that, Jody? That old thing I, in the NFL. I do, but that's just not going to be the case this year with the Eagles. Mac and uh, I have gone back and forth on this a couple of times. When I did the show with the camera the other day, he said they should just pick up where they left off. They should run the football. That's the no, 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 no. My strength is running mm-hmm. the football. Not happening. And no, it was I, I meant that by the first preseason game, they ran the ball exactly zero times yeah. in that eighty-yard touchdown drive. They're going to throw the football here, big guy. When I say run it till they stop it, I mean throw the ball to the backs. <laughs> 
Throw the ball to the backs. The, the Andy Reid run. The old dunk. Andy Reid line. Yeah, yeah. Throw it to the back. It's considered a running play. Yeah. Huh? Dink, dink and dunk and open it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's going to happen. And I, I'm not sure. I, I, you know, and and the defense in these joint practices, that'll be the thing to take a look at because, uh, unfortunately, well, I, I guess fortunately, Deshaun Watson is going to be able to practice. Oh yeah. So be on the yeah, I don't know how Kevin Stefanski handles that though, because he's, he's, he's doing the second Kobe team Brissett. Brissett. Yeah, he's got to get Kobe Brissett healthy, uh, ready, right? ready to yeah. play. But yeah. let me, uh, Bob, Bob. Let me ask you this, because uh, John said this yesterday, day before. He's been saying it for a week or so now, and I unfortunately have to agree with him. Kenny Gainwell's not opened anybody's eyes in this camp, this preseason didn't play in the preseason game. The keep it underneath to open up the deep stuff later on is a good philosophy, but somebody's got to be able to come through with that. If Kenny, Kenny Gainwell isn't what everybody thought he could be, Mr. Dangerous out of the backfield catching the ball, is Miles going to be able to pick all that up? Is this just a couple of days and we're worrying about nothing with Kenny Gainwell? Would you agree that he hasn't wowed anybody so far this preseason? Ooh. Kenny Gainwell, I think he has, Jody. Mm, he's really? caught the ball. He's caught the ball the best of all the backs. Mm. Yeah. And well, he Miles should, Sanders, but he hasn't. He's had yeah, two Miles drops. Miles Sanders looked good in that last game too. Yeah, Miles. I, mean, I never. Good. I don't know what happened there. I was like, I had to look at the number to make sure it was Miles because uh, one of the passes wasn't even that good, but uh, he turned it into something. So, yeah, I and and, and I guess that's Jalen too. That has to be some of Jalen. But yeah, I I think Gainwell. Hammer and I are butting heads today. We got yeah. we got uh, it, Miles Sanders has been so much Scott better is a than good Kenny receiver Gainwell. Too. Boston yeah. Scott, they, they got. I mean, really, he's a good receiver. This is going to be really interesting. What the how how teams defend them? It's going to be very interesting. Well, I have no issues with Boston Scott, but he's you know he's he's been out with a concussion, but he's going to be fine. He's a good backup running back. But, you know, their plan is to use Kenny in hurry-up situations, third-down situations, which makes sense to me. He's a good natural receiver, but he hasn't had a good camp, Bob. He's Oh, I think he's he has. Speaking, yeah, catching the ball. Miles yeah. Sanders has been so much better than, than Kenny Gainwell. I, I think people are just – they've gone so – they've swung so – they were so outrageous with the predictions for him after his rookie season – and now they dismiss him like he's this terrible player Who? because he Miles? didn't live up to their expectations. Miles? Yeah. 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 Well, he hasn't lived up to expectations. Well, I mean, that, yeah, but what, the those quarterback expectations team, were out of whack. He didn't whack. even get a touchdown last year. I mean, what would you expect? <laughs> those expectations were out of whack. He didn't even get the end zone. I mean, that's hard to do. All right. Let's uh, flip it over to the touches? defensive yeah. side of the ball. We talked plenty about the offense. Another guy, and I'm completely cutting this guy slack, unlike Kenny Gainwell. I'm kind of more like John. He's been underwhelming as far as I'm concerned this preseason for whatever preseason's worth. I would say the same about Hassan Reddick, but that's just the nature of the beast in preseason. You can't, yeah, you can't pack your own quarterback. We don't want him yeah, dismembering yeah. Jalen Hurts. So you can't show as much as what J uh, Hassan Reddick was brought in here to do, which is get to the quarterback and get sacks. Have you been able to see enough, Justin? Uh, we uh, Unfortunately, I think it's overrated pressures and being there and maybe make the quarterback move off his spot and the like. Have you seen enough Bob Groats to say, yes, Hassan Reddick's going to do exactly what they brought him in for to do? Yeah, yeah. He's going to, and he will do that. He, if you look at his numbers, though, you look at Hassan Reddick's numbers, he wears down in the second half of seasons. Man. His sack total, it really drops off the, off the board around the ninth or tenth game. So he had one year where that, that big year with, uh, with Arizona, he sacked. Daniel Jones five times but the rest of that season he only had like maybe a half a sack and that was like when he when he sacked Jones that was like game nine or something like that so you're gonna have a little bit of that that Brandon Graham effect type of thing where you get you can expect a really good start so we'll, we'll see how Jonathan Gannon how he rotates these guys and he's got enough guys there that he can rotate and speaking of defensive ends Jody and and I've I've mentioned this to John Oh, Teron yeah. Jackson, 
Teron Jackson has had a great camp. I mean, he's, he he's a guy that, yeah, that no one, no one expects anything out of him, but he's, he's nasty. And, uh, and he, he is uh, football smart. So he's going to contribute. So I let me, be, let me ask I you this be surprised question. If Barnett gets cut and they keep, you know, as the season goes on, Jody, I, don't, I wouldn't Jody's be surprised if they get rid of him. No, no problem with that whatsoever. Yeah. But here's here's the question I do have about Teron Jackson because uh, I agree with you that he's kind of opened some eyes. John and I have suggested when Hassan Reddick comes off the field, swapped out, downs off, whatever, um, that the Eagles will probably more change their defense than just plug someone in for Hassan Reddick. Because what he does in a way he does it a little bit different certainly yeah. than anybody did on the Eagles last year. But if Teron Jackson is playing the way you're saying on the plays that Reddick is out, does Teron Jackson just slide into his spot? I, I don't know. I think you'll probably see that some of the time. But uh, I, I agree with what you said before, that that uh, supposition there. But uh, he's a little bit heavier than Reddick. He's uh, I think they're about the same height. Right, John? Yeah, Maybe uh, yeah, yeah. Jackson that was the issue a... with Teron coming out. He was really yeah. good pass rusher in college, but he was just short, so he yeah. didn't have the but he, land. He's built. Yeah. He he's built. He's got uh, and Reddick is built too. But but uh, the base on uh, Teron Jackson, he he's done a lot of work. So uh, yeah, I, you could. I think you'll see a little bit of both. That, and uh, there's a lot of stuff for uh, that that uh, Jonathan Gannon has to wrap his arms around, yeah. you know, all the, he, he's got a lot of, and he's got a lot of stuff he can do. And um, he's got, he's got players this year that you can do something with. Uh, I, he's, they still have to prove that they can stop a, a good offense. Um, I don't, and I don't think that's going to happen for what, when, when is that first test going to be like the second month of the season? Yeah, something like could, that. You yeah. could argue Kirk cousins and yeah, Justin we, Jefferson. We do Vikings but, offense pretty good. Yeah. Dalvin. Cook. Yeah. Um, Adam Thielen's back healthy, so that should be a test week two. Rookie but head I don't, coach, yeah, rookie head coach. I think the Eagles should beat them, but it'll be a test from the defense's perspective because they can put up some points and yardage. Um, but the Eagles should win the game. The other guy, the other second year player who's also really stood out, Bob Patrick Johnson. Now, he's the guy yeah. who would replace Hassan Reddick um, as sort of that Sam linebacker role. And I thought, you know, when camp started, I thought Kyron Johnson was going to win that job. It's the, the, the new draft pick, but Patrick has been good. He's lapped Kyron Johnson. So you have Patrick yeah. Johnson and, 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 and Teron Jackson. Good, good. That draft is looking pretty good. Yeah, I haven't paid as much attention to to Johnson. I, I do know he got in the fight with Dillard. Yeah, um, and he beat him up. Yeah, that, that, beat him up. That's all I noticed to him at camp. But I, I'll take he had a good preseason game yeah. as well. Uh, again, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Who, who who knows what that means? But uh, he's made this football team. He's gone from the bubble to very safe on that fifty three. So if you're predicting, Bob, make that mental note. He's very well. Very the, safe. the guy from the guy from the Rams who uh, the the leading tackler, the linebacker, he's had a great camp. Who I can't even remember about? his name. I, I get these guys all mixed up. The You're guy that about, they talking about London Fletcher? No. <laughs> <laughs> the Chargers, I'm sorry. The Chargers. Kaiser White. Yeah. Kaiser White. Yeah, Kaiser. Well, Kaiser's <laughs> Kaiser's a definitely never remember player. this guy's name. I yeah, will never Ky remember. I, I mean Kaiser's a no doubt about it, starting linebacker, but obviously you know, he's the splash play. He, he's their best linebacker. Let me ask you guys a linebacker question because we know the starters um, three into two for the linebacker position, not counting guys on the overlap, the, the Hassan Reddicks of the world. We know that uh, certainly Edwards and White and uh, rookie standout uh, in the third round will be uh, Dean all mixed in for the linebackers. And then there's the reserves, which Don't also Davion. Yeah, Davion Taylor. Is Davion a lock to make the roster? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think he'll make it. Yeah. Is Sean Bradley a lock to make the yeah. roster? Yeah. He's a he's they're their gonna best have a tough time getting down to 53, guy. Johnny Mac. They're keeping five linebackers. Uh five ball ball linebackers, yeah. Plus, yeah, one one of the things that drives me insane, and this is the Eagles' fault. Um 
is they list Hassan Reddick and Patrick Johnson and Conrad Johnson as linebackers. So it looks like they're keeping seven linebackers, maybe eight. And you go, oh, you keep eight linebackers. Well, they don't play linebacker. They're edge rushers. So it drives me crazy they won't make that change. But this gets back to the point that Bob Groach just made. If they're keeping all those outside linebackers who are actually edge rushers, how's Derek Barnett going to make the team? Well, unfortunately, he is. I mean, yeah. It, well, I don't know how long you he's two guys play. are going to have a tough time getting down to fifty-three. No, no good it, luck it, with that. Nick Sirianni's got his work cut out for him. What are they going to keep two safeties if they're keeping all these linebackers and all these defensive edge guys? Well, somebody's got to play. No, in the the back numbers, seven. the numbers flash because if you keep it, they're going to keep four, maybe five defensive interior defensive linemen. So then you have room for five edge rushers. Maybe Kyron Johnson is the guy on the outside looking in. Now, he's a guy I thought would make the team. You can probably wave him, get him on the practice squad, that type of thing, because he's done nothing. Um, uh, so I think it goes more in that direction. But, yeah, I mean, they have good linebackers for the first time in years. You're not going to cut them. Um, why cut them? Uh, are, there, are there two safeties that, that you want to keep? Well, that that's the problem. I can think of one. So we'll go there, safety, because you know Marcus Epps was out on uh, what day are we? What was the last practice, Monday. Bob? I don't even know what day we are. Um, yeah, it was. Marcus well, Epps was out Tuesday. Yeah, so they didn't know what to do with that other safety spot. They they were looking at Josiah Scott. They were, they were looking at Reed Blankenship. They were looking at Kayvon Wallace. They went back to Kayvon for a little bit. Who they won't look at is Jaquaski Tart. Who is the? Who are the backup safeties? Who, yeah. are they, who are they going with? Put the names in a hat, all of them except for Epps, and just draw them out at this point. <laughs> you won't even give Anthony Harris. Well, Anthony's safe. I don't know if you can trust him, but yeah, I, I, he's a he's a lockdown starter. I don't think he's a good starter, but for this team, he's a starter. So. All right, let's assume Anthony Harris is what you think he is, what the Hammer thinks he is. I thought that was the camera's nickname, Jody. Now, Bob. No, no, that's Kratz's nickname. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that, Kratz, oh, that's the true too. I we forgot got, about we, that. We got too many yeah. hammers, is what yeah. we've got here. I forgot about the Hammer picture. <laughs> that's uh, too many hammers. <laughs> um, but oh. so where was I on the safety? I got off my. You were saying pants. you didn't think the Eagles were going to make the playoffs, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, they're they're they're, a gonna, lot. they're they're a playoff team. They're yeah, a playoff. They're, they they're should a be a playoff. It'll be very disappointing if they don't make the playoffs. Yeah. But if they don't make the playoffs, you know, reason number one might be safety. It really might be. I mean, how do you how do you protect guys on the back end? How do you do it? Your pass rush. Well, you're going to have to get home. You're they, going to have to get do, home very yeah, consistently. There's no, there's no question. Yeah. They, but, you know, and and, uh, and there's also, all right, Jordan Davis, it's going to take him a while to get this thing. And, uh, and I don't I'm, think from a run stopping standpoint. I'm not a fan of Fletcher I don't think it's Cox. taken him I, any time. I, 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 yeah, I've had this argument with people. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Fletcher I know. Cox. I think, you, I, think you, his, I think his best days are done. So, well, I would agree not, with that. His I think he's overpaid, and, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm so I'm not a big there. And Javon, oh man, Hargrave, I don't know, he's in a contract year, so you're gonna expect a lot out of him. He's a unicorn, Tracy Rocker said. He's a unicorn, <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, it might be a he doesn't bit of either. an overstatement. All right, but let he me put both either. you guys on the spot here. Because John and I do this every day. You think about it or write about it every single day there, Hammer. Um, one guy whose name almost never comes up. And you have to tell me if this is a good thing or a bad thing. John, when was the last time we mentioned Josh Wett? Uh, probably a while ago. Josh spoke on Tuesday, you know, and is when he does speak. Uh, a lot of giggles. Another likable guy, but... Uh, He's a good player. I mean, yeah, to me, it's a good thing. You know, he's there. Um, I don't know how much he can stand out. And as you said, in practice where you can't yeah. officially sack the quarterback, I'm not, not worried setting. about Josh Sweat. I'm not, not, his I'm not worried. We, we never bring him up. 
We never talk about, well, and they got Josh Sack on the other side. It almost never happens, and I'm not sure if it's because he's a given and you like what you got, me, you know what given. he is, and he's good enough, or it's just, well, he's Josh Wett. He's not standing out, but he's not bad either. He's not making any mistakes. He's not jumping off sides like Derek Barnett. Um, so, yeah, where is Josh Wett at right now in your guys' evaluation? You me, he's a figure, given. Let's hear Bob. Yeah, when you'll, we'll, we'll figure it out once he and Reddick are on the field at the same time. I think those two, they're, they're, they're going to be dynamic. So uh, I, that's a lot of speed at the edges. And um, and if they get some push up the middle consistently, then you got a pass rush. So uh, I, I think um, Sweat's going to be – I still think he's their best defensive end, pure defense. Well, okay, Reddick. Is their best pass? Honestly, I still think Brandon Graham is their best. Uh, honestly, um, yeah, Brandon, you know, he's 30, he's got a lot of tricks and everything, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. he's in I, great I just, shape. I hope he can stay healthy, yeah. He, it, I, he, I did he, not even realize it until recently by what three or four months. He's the oldest guy on the team, yeah. Well, yeah. he's been he, around, he's the for, senior yeah. statesman, yeah. It's kind of amazing where his career started. And where he is now, you don't see that happen very yeah. often. Um, people were jumping off roofs saying, we could have had Earl Thomas. We could have had JPP. Um, and here's Brandon Graham all these years later. Mr. Eagle, I 13th believe. season. Jeremiah Washburn called him Mr. Eagle yeah. uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. That was good. Hey, I would have listened to Washburn if I knew he was going to say that. Yeah, he was very... Uh, he was very. He looks just like his old man, doesn't he? He's got length. He's got good length to be a pass rusher. He's got the same. They they must have. There must be a Washburn beard or something, you know, or you know, facial hair, uh, pr, uh, you know, cut out that they they shave around because it was exactly the same. I, I thought it was. Yeah, like old man. I wonder if Jim and Jeremiah talk about how Jim got got it wrong with Brandon Graham. Oh, Sharon yeah. Gold from son to father. I don't think yeah. so. I think they keep that under wraps. Well, Jim I, drafted uh, Fletcher Cox. So, Groats, yeah, I need you power. on the record for maybe the most important thing that we discuss here today. Eagles third string quarterback. Uh, Reed Stinnett did not uh, impress me against the no, Jets. Actually, no. he looked pretty damn bad. You guys no. there at practice and uh, you've said, written, come on, Birds 365, whatever else. Oh, well, Reed Stinnett was pretty good. Reed Stinnett way ahead, of course. No. Strong. Mm, I'll believe all that, but just he, ahead how ahead bad is Carson Strong, strong if Reed Stinnett's way ahead of him? Because Reed Stinnett didn't look like he should be on an NFL field the other night against the Jets. I, I actually heard someone say that Carson Strong didn't play because they were trying to hide him. <laughs> I Who swear to God, I heard Who said that. that? Yeah, I rolled my eyes. I, you know what? I can't say it because. Uh, yeah, you don't want. That, who, they, yeah, you don't want to say. Off the records, off the record, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, I, I just rolled my eyes when I heard that. I didn't even. I didn't even come back. But uh, boy, they're doing he, a good job because he looks. Um, yeah, he looks like he's got an arm problem already. Carson. Uh, well, Strong. that's the one thing you. That heard might be added. related to the knee too, he, to the he, base. You know, you, I'll be, you I, heard, I wouldn't be surprised if that's acting up again. You, know? you heard all those stories about what a great arm he had. I haven't seen that even. He uh, pushes yes, every, the ball like Philip yeah. Rivers on, on his on his throws. He, he maybe they like it then. Maybe they do yeah. like it. That's they a love bizarre. Philip Rivers. Yeah, there's, there's a Philip Rivers groupies yeah. on the coaching it, staff of the Philadelphia Jody, Eagles. Jody, if you saw him throwing a, a, a paper wad into a trash bin, you know, you'd say, "My God, that's a weird throwing motion." You know, like he just kind of pushes it at the end of it. You know, like yeah. Oh, he he's got a lot of Clayton Thorson in him. Uh, <laughs> I like that. I I Iron look man. completely. Oh, he's a good guy, Clayton Thorson, but completely overmatched. No one did a better job of getting the food for Carson Wentz than Clayton Thorson. Uh, good, yeah. good on, good on Clayton. You um, know, it, it, but here's uh, real quick, Jody. Here's an example. As poor as Reed Sinat played against the Jets, and you saw, which he did. The, so the next practice on Tuesday, Carson Strong didn't get one rep with in team drills. Not one rep. rep. So if they're trying to hide him, they're doing a good stinking job of it. I'll say I think, that. I think his knee is bothering him again. You know, like I wouldn't be surprised if he went on one of those uh, what NF or football, non-football injury. 
pop list? Yeah, well, some weird, you know, category where they can stash them for well, year. Well, you can stash them on IR, yeah. but then, you know, he can't practice. He's out for the yeah. season. So Yeah. All right. Uh, la- and, oh, by the way, what happened to the quarterback factory? I thought this was the quarterback well, factory. That was they need us. They're issues. not baking them up the way they used to down there. They in need South a third Philly, quarterback. Yeah. I mean, you could have COVID could come back. You never know. It's be- it's still here. Monkey pox. Monkey yeah. pox. Uh, you don't want to get monkey pox. <laughs> what, if they get, what if somebody gets monkey pox? For wow. God's sakes. I did somebody had to go monkey pox on we're gonna show. Go, we're, we're I should have known it was going to be Bob about. Gross. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who, who tested positive for COVID? Somebody was just out. Quarterback. Uh yeah, they've had some cases Drew this year, Lock, right? Seattle oh, Drew Locke, yeah, Drew Locke, and Kirk Cousins again. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's so many contagions the out there. Group. I mean, you you do need a third quarterback. You, you need yeah. one. Yeah, they'll pick. Maybe they'll pick a guy up after the cuts. Yeah, Drew Locke was going to start, right, Jody? And then uh, then he no, 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 no. And to his credit, he stayed loyal to his guy, unbeknownst to why for me. But no, they said Geno Smith was because he was there last year. It was Geno's job to lose, and he hasn't lost it. Drew Locke hasn't taken it from him. Oh, the Seahawks are just going to. No, no, I them. don't mean in general. I meant they were going to start him in this upcoming preseason. Oh, this game. week, yeah, they yeah. were going to give him a start. He, yeah. he's going to miss out on the opportunity yeah, he's because miss it. he's yeah. got COVID. Yeah, yeah. So That's you know like, what that means? Poor JJ Arcega Whiteside is not going to get a chance to show his medal this week with his starting. By the way, why are people in Philadelphia getting upset? Seattle, did you see Seattle put out like a little hype video? I give them credit for getting JJ highlights because they had to dig deep for those. But uh, they, you know, they put out a little hype video because they just acquired the kid. What do you expect them to do? Why, 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 I mean, what, it, what? that's what these social media accounts do. The Eagles are probably digging up clips on, what's his, I, I forget his name, Ugo, Ugo Amadi. And, and the only reason I know that is our buddy Rob Amadi, as I said to Jody. Ugo yeah. Amadi. Um, the Eagles he are sounds like South up Philly muscle, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. uh, I was actually surprised that they didn't go that, back to his Stanford tape. Uh, to oh, up- they should. That was good. The Stanford team. Yeah, just, I don't know why you think it's hard getting his his highlights, John. I mean, he didn't catch that many passes. Everyone was a highlight. Well, that's true. That yeah, you could, I mean, uh, you could like. I, I'm he, sure they're all over YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a number. He, of he'll end up with you know if well. he doesn't if he doesn't work in uh, Seattle, he'll end end up with somebody. I mean, he'll be that 50 first, second, or third guy. By the way, the Seahawks already um, moved him back to receiver. Pete Carroll, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. We'll, yeah, I don't we'll think see about end. that. All right, uh, Mr. Gross, uh, you're off to wherever you're off to, but then you'll All right. uh, be hanging with McMullen at practice again this week. Just yeah, remember but, the word on. is lovable, lovable, Bob, 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 Bob. not likable, lovable. <laughs> Bob, between you and I, nobody else is watching. It wasn't McMullen who said they're hiding Carson Strong, was it? No, 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 it wasn't McMullen. All right, as yeah, long as, it wasn't as long, him, yeah. As long as I know it wasn't Johnny Mac, I he feel would have better. fessed up. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel I better about the up. show. Uh, right, Mr. Goodness. Groats, always a pleasure. Always a Thanks pleasure. for hopping on board.